Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on WatchAcresTV.com. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to answer the question, what is apical dominance in a plant? Oh, this is a very interesting one. And if you understand this concept, it really changes how you look at any plant out there. For example, I had a tree in my front yard. This is the first house I ever had. I was so excited about this tree. It was beautiful and it was coming up nice. You know, it's still a fairly young tree. Had a windstorm come and it broke off the main growing point in the center. Now the side branches were still there. Well, I looked at this tree every day out my front window and I thought, I need to take this out and one of my best friends is a landscaper and I said you know let's just take that tree out let's put another one in and he said don't you touch that tree this tree has got a good stem it's got a great root system it's gonna recover from this you just lost apical dominance and I'm like apical what and he said well, apical dominance is that main growing point going up and kind of leading the growth of that plant. Don't worry, he said, you've got these nice side branches. It's eventually gonna fill back in and maybe it won't be quite as tall as it would have been, which could be a really good thing for you since it's right in front of your house. So I left the tree alone and years later, it is fantastic and I'm so glad I did. I learned first about apical dominance when it came to some of the ALS and sulfonylurea herbicides that we were using in soybeans. We would, as we would call it back then, ding up the soybeans a little bit. You'd see leaf burn. You'd see some stunting of the plant, but the plant would eventually come out of it. But the plant growth would be a little bit different. This apical dominance basically means like in the soybean plant that the plant keeps growing up and that that main bud at the top, that main growing point, that's the one that's in control. That's the dominant one. Well, when you've either killed that or severely damaged that, like we did years ago in soybeans when we were using a lot of these, these products that were a little harsh, um, we stopped the apical dominance there. And what that did with that soybean plant, it changed then from being this big tall plant to a shorter plant, lots of branching out. And, and to Darren's point, yeah, the plant continued to grow. It yielded just fine and everything was okay. It's just that the plant looked a lot different. Well, and you see it in orchards all the time where you think, oh, okay, they probably trimmed those apple trees up so the apples were easier to pick. Hey, if you've got an apple tree that keeps growing taller and taller, it is gonna be really difficult to pick the apples, but what happens? If you take that top part of the tree off, now you've got a little less tree to feed and there's more energy, more juice going to every one of those apples. You get great apples, you get nice branching to the side, and the same thing happens in our crops, like soybeans, for example. If anything happens to stop the top growth, like Brian was saying, oftentimes we get more branching and you think about it, you still have that big stalk, you still have that big root system, and now all that energy and that water and all those nutrients are getting pushed out to less growth and more of the fruit that you're setting on that plant. All right, so that's apical dominance. I don't know that we've ever talked about this on Ag PhD before, but it is something that we discuss as agronomists and as farmers, and I just thought you might find this interesting today. Well, we want to stop more than just the apical dominance on our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 